this program has been on the doorstep twice last year just you know I mean you've heard this over and over again how do you keep this team focused coming into the season well you know one thing that we did we, we changed our motto of what we're doing we we're always going to have that leave no doubt kind of deal but this year we wanted to change in we wanted to make sure every kid was on board so we changed it a little bit and we're saying all in all day so that means everybody got to come every day and work hard the biggest thing is that JV bunch being successful yes last year and those guys got to come in and play a big role I mean, it's been fun watching those guys develop as, as varsity players. So we hope those guys can bring what we lost with those guys going out. And, and we feel pretty good right now. We're definitely not there, but the day was a lot better than the last two days. You've lost three of your leading tacklers off your defense. Um, you have Eric Heath pretty much anchoring that linebacking crew. Talk about Eric and, and the kids that you have right now in, in your D. What you're going to get is what we call a no-name people. It's going to be guys that you don't know the name. And you're going to be in the stands saying, who is that? Who is that? Uh, what we're going to do, we're going to have times where we're going to play big. We're going to have times where we're going to play quick. And, and Coach, Con Coach Gomes is doing a great job subbing those guys in and out with what we're seeing in practice. And there's going to be a lot of different things. And a lot of kids are going to be able to get a chance to get on the field. We talk about uh, Zeph. He had a lot of, you know, 10 games or so under his belt as a freshman quarterback. Talk about his progression coming into the season. Oh, oh, it was great. You know, what we did last year, we didn't want to put all of it in him. We know we had a veteran line. We knew we had a good running back. So what we wanted to do was just try to balance out just a little bit, but heavy on the run. This year we're going to try to balance it out. And that depends on how well we are up front, determining what we do offensively. And talk a little bit about um, Chase Byram. You're, I mean, obviously going to be the focus on that offensive mm -hmm. running game. Well, he is. I mean, he's doing a great job, you know, at practice, but he's doing a real, a real good, a awesome job helping them young guys. You know, we got some young, we got a sophomore back there, freshman back there, a couple of juniors back there, and just his leadership is going to be big for those guys in the future. But, you know, you see right now those guys went in and Chase did five more sprints, so that's the commitment we've been talking about. What are your expectations for this team? Is to come to play every day. If you can come to practice every day and work hard, then the game will take care of itself. We know we got a tough schedule, but... To be good, you got to play the best, and that's what we feel like we did with our schedule. You know, we may have some bumps at the beginning, but when it comes to conference time, we feel like it'll take care.